going on everybody? Boone Wyatt here with the 323 Concept Furniture Restoration. Today we are going to be doing a product review of something I bought this week and I really think you're going to like it. Um, if you are on a budget and you need something to hold up plastic at a job site, if you're doing some spraying in a home uh, or even at your shop, these are a great product to have. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm going to show you the benefits of it as opposed to maybe some of what the competition's ordering. All right, so we're looking at a, what is this? You may be asking. This is considered a cargo pole. Um, I got this one from Harbor Freight. I'm going to put a link in the description of our video where you can find this online. Um, but these things are awesome. What is it, you might ask? Well, you can use it in the back of your pickup truck to hold products in there, or if you're like me, um, you can use it to hold um, plastic up at a job site in your shop. Um, just to sort of show you, I'm gonna show you my spray booth real quick, and I bought six of these poles. I think I only ended up using five of them, but they're only $15 each on, on, uh, at the store. I'll see if I can find them online, and I'm not sure how much they'll be on there yet, but I will uh, post a description where you can find these. Um, but they're very cheap um, in comparison to the competition and they work great. Let me show you my spray booth real quick. All right, this is the outside of my spray booth and I started over in the corner over here to the right. I've got three poles, one on the far right, one in the middle, and one on the left over here. And then I've got one more, or I've got two more, I'm sorry, for this other wall over here. I probably could have combined this corner here and made that one pole, but let me show you the inside. So this is the inside to help with overspray, um, fumes. We could do a lot better. I could, you know, staple the plastic to the top, obviously, but I just sort of wanted to get this up. This probably took maybe five to 10 minutes to put this plastic up with these poles. I'm gonna show you a close up of these poles and what they look like, how they operate. All right, so this is our cargo pole. Um, and this is what it looks like when it's fully collapsed. We're sitting at about 46 inches. It might go an inch smaller, so roughly around 45 inches. And like I said, this one goes all the way up to 114 inches. Um, so you can put this in the back of your truck if you're trying to hold product in there. Um, but what I like to use it for is holding up my spray booth, as you saw just a moment ago. So, um, you know, you might ask, how do we go about um, attaching the plastic to the top and the bottom? Um, well, let me show you how it raises and lowers first. We've got this bolt right here in the middle. Once that's loosened, this opens up and you'll feel it stop at the end. There's a little bit of a retainer uh, rod. And once you feel that, you can go ahead and tighten that up. So we'll tighten that. And once that's tight, then it extends down here from the bottom. Um, you can hold this metal part, you push that in and you can extend this out like I said, let's see here. And this goes out pretty far. So um, if I'm putting this up against the ceiling, I get this about an inch away from the ceiling. And then you start to squeeze your handle here and that starts pushing it out gradually and it's spring loaded. So once you reach its, uh, the stud or the ceiling, wherever you're going to, you'll start to feel some tension. You don't want to overdo it. You could probably break it if you do. Um, but once you hit that, you'll start to feel some tension and you're good to go. So how do I go about setting this up to plastic? Let's collapse this and I'll sort of show you. These ends, and this was super easy to set up. Like I said, I set up my spray booth in probably five minutes or so. Um, super easy to set up. This thing, whole thing came uh, assembled except for these end pieces right here. They just pop right on and off. There's a little sphere on the end here and your little black rectangle, it just snaps into place. So when I'm assembling my plastic, I wrap my plastic around the uh, rectangular piece to where when I put the, the sphere on there, it's just gonna hold that plastic in place right there. And I'll hold that in place. It's a little easier if you have two people, but you don't have to have two people. Um, if you got somebody that uh, trusts you enough to hammer while, while, you, uh, while they hold it. But if you're strong enough, you could probably just push it on there. If not, just grab a rubber mallet and that's there to stay. And that's how I did that booth that I just worked on. Um, did that on the top and then I set the bottom. I just sort of dragged the bottom under it and then I extended my handle right there and it was good to go. But you always want your, um, let me add this, when you're setting this up, you always want the bottom 
Oh, goodness. You want this to be the bottom right here so that when that's extended, your handle's gonna be about in the middle of, otherwise your handle's gonna be way at the top. It's gonna be hard to crank that up. But if you see when I pull that handle, it gives you that extra few inches that you need to tighten it up. So, you know, not very difficult at all. All right, everybody, that concludes our video for today. Um, this was just a quick demonstration of a product that I've been using this week and I love it. I think it's gonna work out great. Um, time will tell as to you know how it holds up, but I mean we're not doing much with it. I mean if you're carrying around from job site to job site to job site, um, you know let us know in the comments how it holds up over time. We'd love to hear. Um, but this is a Hallmaster um, two-in-one support cargo bar. Like I said, I use it for spray booth in my shop. You can use it as a cargo bar in your truck, or if you do mobile jobs, painting cabinets maybe, you can use this in the home to do a quick setup of a spray booth. So these things are awesome. I would highly recommend them so far. Um, if I have any updates in the future, I'll definitely let you know. But otherwise, check out the description of our video. We'll have a link to where you can find these. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, you know, definitely let us know. And uh, other than that, don't forget to like our video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future updates. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time.